guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. If you are new here, my name is Shan from Home with Shan over on Instagram. And this year I am getting married and I'm trying to do wedding Wednesdays uh, like on my channel. So not every Wednesday, but this Wednesday I actually have quite a lot over the weekend that I'm doing. So like wedding related. So I've got I'm going to get my dress, which is so exciting. Um, I've actually already, and you've probably noticed this before, I've already got the dress, um, but it's too big. I bought it second hand and it needed dry cleaning, but it was such a good price that I couldn't like not get it, but it's actually a size too big and to get it altered um, and dry cleaned would probably bring it up to the price of a new dress anyway. So I decided to go for a new dress and I'm going to sell the old dress. It's exactly the same like style and everything. I'm going to pick up my new dress on Sunday. Today is Friday that I'm filming this. So yeah, I will take you along to the wedding dress shop that I go to, show you a little bit, maybe a little sneak preview. Um, but yeah, I'm so, so excited. But before I do any of that, like go to the wedding dress shop and everything, I needed to get my shoes for the wedding, like my wedding shoes, to know like how much my dress needs to be altered for my height. So I did a little shop online from Quiz of all places. I never thought I would get my wedding shoes from Quiz, but I've seen so many good reviews and they're so well priced that I thought I would do a little haul. And I'm gonna show you all of the shoes that I got from Quiz in a minute. All of my wedding shoes, they've got like a whole bridal section on there. They've got like shoes, they have bridesmaid dresses, and um, they've got loads of like accessories and stuff as well. So I actually really enjoyed looking on the website. I've also been talking to quite a few of you on Instagram who have said that they used Quiz for shoes or like bridesmaid dresses and just various other things as well. And they looked really nice. So because of that and the fact that they were really, really affordable, um, I thought I would do a little haul and who knows, one of these shoes actually might be the ones that I wear on my wedding. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of just wanted to spend like less than 50 pounds on a nice pair of heels preferably ones that I would be able to re-wear, like repurpose if I was maybe going to a wedding as a guest or like if I had a night out or something, not that I have many of those. But if I did, I could hopefully use these shoes again. So that's something that I'm having in mind like when I'm choosing them, but some of them are very, very bridal and some of them are just like more understated. If I'm totally honest, I know myself and I'm not a heel girl. Like I really am not. The most amount of heel that I wear normally is on like a boot, like a boot heel. Even then I struggle, I'm not gonna lie. So I was thinking that I might also get a white, a brand new white pair of Converse because I've got white Converse already, but they are like old. So by getting a new pair of Converse, that I could wear on the wedding day, like when we're dancing and stuff like that, I could maybe then reuse those like in years to come as well, because I wear Converse literally, other than in the winter months, I literally live in Converse. So yeah, I'm pretty much thinking these shoes are pretty much all around like the 20 to 30 pound mark. And then I'll probably just get a pair of Converse as well. And then that will be like what I wear on the wedding day probably. Like I said, they're all around the £30 mark, like 20 to £30, pounds, and I think some of them are in the sale as well, so I will try those on, and I'm really excited actually, because it starts to feel real, like I'm getting my dress soon, I'm going to go with my shoes, try them on, try the shoes on with the dress and everything to make sure that it feels right. I'm so glad that these came in time, because I'm going to get my dress on Sunday, and it's actually Friday now, so I'm leaving it a little bit late, but it's fine, I'm going to try them now. If you are interested in any of the shoes that I try, I'll link everything down below that I try on and Quiz have a lot of really good deals on quite a lot of the time and surprisingly they're really, really lovely. Like I just genuinely never really expected Quiz to be one that I would go for but honestly I've, I'm really pleasantly surprised with the range they had on there. Fingers crossed they're going to be nice but yeah, let's try them on oh my goodness okay so this is the first shoe i've got a size four in all of them and they're all like normal fit i think i might have got like wide fit in them but i'll link it down below i really like this one this one is really really simple we're getting married in a hotter month of the year and i do get sweaty toes so i wanted to have like open open like sandaly type ones sort of and i do really really like these ones like i said i could actually definitely see myself wearing these after like they're not too bridal they're not too blingy or anything they are literally just the white strappy sandal with like a little stiletto one but i would say is that like a four inch heel like it's not too high hopefully it wouldn't be too uncomfortable but i will try them on and let you guys know what i think okay these are the first ones and i like the way they look 
they look really nice but they are not comfortable at all and I feel like my my foot's just gonna like fall out of these because like there's no like support around there where I feel like it's needed this is like a sort of fake leather material but it is a bit like shiny I think so it does give it that bridal look and it has got the nice little diamondy like detail on the side but I just feel like they're not gonna stay on and they're not gonna be comfortable at all I can already feel like a blister area here like danger area that is definitely gonna blister so yeah as beautiful as these are I just don't think they're going to be comfortable on the day or practical and yeah you guys know me I'm gonna have to say these ones are a hard no. This was the second one that I went for and yes it is sort of a pinky nudey colour but I really liked the block heel on it. I absolutely love the block heel because obviously it would be a lot more comfortable if you're wearing them all day and this colour is very similar to the colours that we're going for so we're going for like a um sort of dusky pink colour like nudie colour and then like sages and whites and stuff like basically like any kind of pastel colour I'd be happy with to be honest I'm really not like set on a certain colour theme particularly just like these kind of nice like rustic kind of colours that would go but also if I think about it realistically no one's seeing my shoes like no one's gonna see my shoes um as long as they're comfortable and they're like nice I really don't mind um I do really like these ones again I'm gonna try them on and see what I think but I feel like these ones are gonna be more comfortable than the ones I tried on a minute ago okay these ones are the nudie kind of colour ones these are a million times more comfortable than the other ones it's definitely down to the block heel and i feel like they will stay on my feet a lot better because they've got the straps and stuff like around the ankle area if that makes sense i know they're not like bridal shoes necessarily but i do really like them i can see myself sort of wearing these more like they're more me if that makes sense i do really like these ones but i'm just a little bit worried that they're not like bridal enough they're a bit like let's go out jeans and a nice t-shirt and some heels <laughs> because i like them with these jeans at the moment and i feel like is that right for like a wedding shoe i'm not entirely sure but like i said these are really really comfortable i really like these ones are they weddingy are they not i mean i guess under a wedding dress you're probably not going to be able to tell but i just don't know i just don't know and then these ones these ones are way more bridal than the other two they are a lot more blingy there's a lot more going on they've got like the pearls and the bling around here and then this is like a strap that goes around your ankle um and then they are like a more of a satiny material so like this is what i would think of as like a proper bridal shoe um it has got a little heel and it is like more of a stiletto heel than the block heel that i like um at first glance, I don't love them just because they aren't they aren't very me. I'm not very like blingy. However, saying that, my dress has got a little bit of bling on it. I'm not gonna lie. So um, I don't know. Maybe it would clash. I don't know. I just don't love these as much at first glance. I could be mistaken, and I could really love them when I try them on. So I'm gonna do that now, and I'll let you know what I think. Okay. So these are the next ones. These are the first of the ones that I would say look. A bit more bridal um if you know what i mean so they're like a bit more blingy they've got the bling going on around here I'm just bringing you down here because i can't lift my feet up like that much i just don't know i feel like they're a bit too sandily like i feel like i will fall out of this like this situation i don't love um plus the stiletto heel i'm not a huge fan of like if i lift my foot up like that i'm basically falling out of the shoe um I don't hate them I don't hate I like them a lot more on than I did off but again it's same as the first ones like I just feel like I'm just gonna fall out of these shoes I don't think that they're like supportive enough they're pretty I'll give them that they are very pretty but yeah not comfortable <laughs> at all the next set of heels that I got were these ones again they are more on the bridal side can't really see where I would wear these other than on my wedding day but they are really affordable and I do 
quite like them. They're not as blingy as the other one. They've got like the little iridescent pearls on them. It's got the satin material on like the entire shoe. And then the heel is like a semi-block heel, if that makes sense. So I that would definitely be more comfortable than just like a stiletto. Um, I do, I like the length and everything. It's not too high. And I do actually really like, I feel like this is a lot better made than the last one that we tried on. So yeah, I'm actually quite excited about these ones. Not something that I'd be able to re-wear, but like I said, they're so affordable that actually it might not matter and they might go really well with my dress. So who knows? I'm really surprised by these ones. Like really surprised at how much I like these. These are beyond comfortable. They are so comfortable for a heel and it's definitely to do with the block heel. Um, but they don't look like a block heel because from the side that kind of looks like a stiletto, but obviously it is like a semi-block heel, if that makes sense. Genuinely think these are my favourite ones so far. These are like the more bridally ones, I would say. So they've got like the sort of satin material. It's got the block heel. It's got a bit of bling, but not too much. Um, the iridescent pearl. It's got like this little jewel bit here where that connects. I feel supported. Like I feel like that because of this being a bit more like coverage. Um, instead of like just the one strap, I feel like I'm not gonna, like my shoe isn't gonna come off. But I do really, 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 really like these ones way more than I thought I would. Um, I feel like they got, they look bridal, but equally it's not too much. Are they bridal enough or are none of them bridal enough? Of the ones we've tried so far, these are definitely my favorite. Yeah, I like them. And then last but not least, I have these ones. These are a sort of off-white, I would say, um, like faux leather, block heel, square toe, sandal sort of style. Um, it has a little crossover, I believe. I think that kind of crosses over like that. And then you have your like ankle through there. I mean, obviously I'll try them on properly in a second. But I really really like these ones they're so understated they're not particularly bridal they've got the block heel they've got the open toe i could definitely wear these again after the wedding i love these actually i really like these these are very me they're very like basically a plain jane like that is me um i just really think that these are like perfect like i said a block heel block heel guys i just just love a block heel I love comfort and I'm probably, I, I could see myself wearing these the longest out of all of them, if that makes sense. Um, and like I said, my, my dress has got a bit of bling on it, so I really don't need like too much going on on the shoe area. I like them. I really like them. Let's try them on and see what I think. Okay, these ones are the most comfortable and like secure of all of the shoes that I've tried on. I really really like these ones these obviously have the block heel they're the sort of off white um sort of lead fake leather material and they're like the sandal heel with the square edge toe i love these ones they're so comfortable i genuinely don't even feel like i'm wearing heels they're not actually even that short like they're really really comfortable genuinely can't get over how comfortable these ones are and how much they feel like they're actually going to stay on my feet the only thing I worry about is they're like, they look su like very summery, don't they? They like, look like a summer heel. Again, I do kind of think I could wear these, like, I definitely think I could wear these after the wedding. Like, 1,000% I would wear these afterwards, which is what I said I wanted, but I also don't want it to be, like, I also don't want to, like, have shoes that don't go with, like, a wedding dress, if that makes sense. Although, I kind of think these will. I mean, I don't really know. This one and number four, I think, are my favourites. These probably more so, but I don't know if they're a little bit too casual. Like, I know that sounds silly because they are obviously like sandal heels. They're not too bridal, which, I don't know. Is that exactly what I asked for? Probably. I'm just not sure. I'd really love to know what you guys think. But these ones are so comfortable, so affordable and just that block heel is like giving me life i'm not gonna lie what do you guys think these or nah hey it's the next day now and i have just been to the jewelers as well as soft play and boots to get some makeup and skincare but i've just been to the jewelers because it's a wedding wednesday i thought i would share with you my wedding ring i picked it up um and it's a really like if you saw my stories on the weekend you would have seen me sharing this i went for a very, I would say like understated, budget friendly ring. Um, I absolutely love my engagement ring. Like it is just 
perfect for me like nothing too massive I don't like feel it on my hand all the time if it's something that I'm gonna wear for the rest of my life like I want it to be comfortable and I want it to feel like I can wear it all the time and I do so I absolutely love that I love my engagement ring and I got what I think is like the perfect ring to sit underneath this um, and it makes like a really good little duo so I'm just gonna share it with you it's from Warren James and it is like this nice little crossover it's got a couple of little um stones in it nothing too much not plain but actually quite plain if that makes sense like it's not too blingy i just i just really loved it and it was like i said really budget friendly i'm gonna pop it on actually underneath my ring i'm a size k not that that matters but i know my ring size now which i never knew before they're both like nine karat gold so they're not gonna like rub or like taint each other or i don't know all these other terms that people use but i really really like them and i'm really happy that it's something that i've got done really glad that i chose this one it was only 120 pounds i think so for a wedding ring that's obviously quite affordable i feel like they go really nicely together and yeah i love them so i'm gonna take this off now because i've been showing it on my stories as well and i feel like i've worn it too much already but it's gonna go straight back in the box until the wedding day i am very happy with it and like i said warren james if you are in the market for a wedding ring they did some really really nice ones and there were some more like luxury ones i would say and then they also had some more affordable ones as well like quite a big selection in the affordable section i kind of said like roughly 100 pounds is my budget but like I'm willing to be a little bit flexible if I find like the perfect ring and that was definitely the perfect ring and I wanted to make sure it was the same like metal and everything as my engagement ring so they don't like taint each other if that's a thing I've just heard that before so I just thought let's try to avoid that that is what I've been doing today it's currently nap time and I am just toying with the idea of maybe tempting to do my table numbers <laughs> during nap time as soon as I start it he'll wake up but i wanted to show you the one that i've done so far so if you guys remember in a previous video i talked about the fact that i had a cricket machine and if you guys don't know what a cricket is go and watch that video because it will share it will like explain it all properly basically it's like a cutting machine and i've been able to cut some like sticky vinyl and with the help of hobbycraft uh i actually have been able to make these table numbers so hobbycraft sell these like acrylic um stand things they're four table numbers then i made the label saying table 10 and then i popped it on there and i thought it looked quite nice so <laughs> i have also printed off a load of other labels for the rest of the tables um so we've got 10 tables in total so i started with number 10 for no apparent reason this one has been out a little bit so it has got a little bit of dust and stuff on it but i'm not sure whether i want to keep table 10 as is or if i wanted to maybe paint the back i've got a couple of like acrylic paints and stuff in like a sage green and then like an olive green i'll show you them so i've got quite a few of these paints i was going to show you them but god it's just a bit chaotic right now so i have these two different color paints um these are acrylic paints this one is more of a sagey green but it says it's called pale olive that is the acrylic paint i've got and then i've got the darker olive paint i think yeah olive green olive green and then pale olive i like both of them but i'm not entirely sure i also then have their acrylic paints i also have just like normal paint like emulsion paint from wix the testers i've got again another olive green and then i've got a sage um as well and you can't see them massively in this but you get the idea they are very similar to the acrylic paints and i'd rather use acrylic paint i think on acrylic because that kind of just makes sense hopefully they won't like rub off or anything i have done a couple of swatches of the acrylic paints and that one is obviously the darker one and then you've got the lighter olive i'm just not sure about either of them like i do like them i can't really make my mind up and then i'm thinking like does this work? Do either of those work? I tried to combine the two and then it kind of got a bit messy and I think I was doing it like in a nap time and then George was like waking up or something so I kind of gave up. But I don't know. I really don't know and I'd really love anyone's opinion actually on which of those, if any, work. Um, if none of them work then maybe I do have to mix it but I kind of like to avoid mixing the paints just because 
then what if I like don't have time to do all of the table like all of the 10 table numbers at one time and then the next time I paint the next time I mix the paint it's like a different colour completely and I can't get the same colour. Do you know what I mean? I'm just stressing about that kind of thing. But anyway, as things stand, I'm going to do 10 of these. I've got table 10 done and I've got my other labels cut. I'll show you them now, actually. These are my other labels. I feel like you can't see them very well at all on the camera right now. But essentially, I've cut it all out. Um, I just need to remove like the excess vinyl from here, like all around. And then it will just be this and then you literally just get like some transfer tape and then pop it on here and then like scrape it on and then like peel the excess away the excess transfer tape away and then it comes off like this i hope that makes sense but i'll feel whenever i do get around to doing it i will film it obviously but i just want to make sure that it's all right and yeah i don't know i feel like maybe i should have just ordered some online but i'm trying my best i just don't know whether i'm gonna be able to do it justice or not hey guys so it's the following day i'm off to my wedding dress fitting appointment like basically where i go and pick up my wedding dress i'm going to this place called the bridal dress company in newbury it's absolutely amazing it's so stunning in there like if you were gonna think about what you think a wedding dress shop should look like it is this place like it's absolutely gorgeous so i'll link it down below um, and i'll link the instagram down below as well because they stock so many nice dresses i'll try and film a little bit while i'm in there and obviously like i'm not going to show you the dress but i'll show you like a little sneak peek and you'll see the types of dresses that they stock as well like i really genuinely love this place if you are local to newbury i would really i would even actually say like to travel there it's so lovely and the one designer that i really love is stocked in this place so that is why i've chose it and yeah i'm gonna be late for my appointment so i'm gonna go but i'll catch up with you guys when we're there bye right, i've just pulled up i'm about to go into the wedding dress shop in a minute but i wanted to show you the shoes that i ended up going up for from quiz the ones that i was showing you earlier in the vlog um basically i'm pretty sure these are going to be my wedding shoes but as long as the shoes I end up wearing are the same height, it doesn't really matter. Um, but I do really love these ones. And they were the last ones that I tried. And they are these ones. I think they're gorgeous. I really like them. I really like how comfortable they were. I think they're really nice. Um, and I feel like they'll go with my dress. But obviously today will like confirm that or whatever. So I'm going to go in. I'll take a few shots in the shop as well of like the other dresses that they do and stuff. It's honestly such a gorgeous shop. Like I can't wait for you guys to see it. gorgeous is that wedding dress shop oh my god the bridal dress company is in newbury and i'll link it down below i'll link their socials and everything down below as well because it is absolutely stunning but i have got my wedding dress ah, it's in the back and it literally fits almost exactly perfectly like a glove like everything fits other than the length so i'm just gonna get the length done tailored to um the heel size that i've got i did actually try the shoes on the quiz shoes these ones um when i tried the dress on and i probably had them on for a max of like 20 minutes and like i when i came out of them i felt very relieved so that kind of makes me think maybe they're not as comfortable as i thought they were definitely more comfortable than any of the other shoes that i tried but i think i might see what the dress looks like when i'm wearing converse as well and yeah we'll kind of go from there but there she is there she is she's in the back it's next to george's um Car seat um, that he's not in, obviously. But yeah, I've got my wedding dress, guys. 
So I'm going to drive home now. I think I'm going to love you and leave you and I will see you very, very soon for another wedding Wednesday. Lots more exciting things to come up. I think probably the next one is going to be me DIYing those table numbers as well as some other bits and bobs as well. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed guys. Bye. Wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till we grow old. Please tell me you'll stay.